Madam Speaker, the business sector are screaming today their businesses are being impacted so they cannot participate in any apprenticeship program with the stress that they're going through. Madam Speaker, business license was paid yesterday on post revenue. It was post paid. Now they want post and prepaid. They want you to submit a projection of what you anticipate your revenue to be the following year, so you pay for this year and the following year, that's double. Double. How does that affect, especially the small man whose business license may only be $200? You're asking him to pay $400. He cannot afford that. And Madam Speaker, businesses have called me. In order to get their vehicle license, they must present their business license. The problem they face, Madam Speaker, they paid their business license, but they have not gotten their business license. And as a result, because the car the vehicle is a part of the business, they cannot license their, car, their vehicle. This is bad for business. This is bad for business. Individuals can be dismissed. This will gravely affect the apprentices program but Madam Speaker, the deficit, $131 million projected. The financial secretary say that deficit will greatly decrease. But Madam Speaker, let's listen to why he states that the deficit will be less. Why? Because he's projecting a $50 million revenue take on the sale of Bahamians homes and businesses because of delayed or lack of paying real property tax. Why individuals have come to me and asked, why can't they just allow us to go into a, a payment plan? But no, the $50 million is projected because you're taking away from these poor bohemians. Then their money is projected because they were anticipating great returns on the fees that were char being charged on boat regulation. And Mr. Spe Madam Speaker, you know the boat regulation fees had to be reduced in this parliament just two weeks ago. So that revenue that they had anticipated obviously must now be decreased.